Hey guys, Varun here from Uniplu or the Apple Tutor, and today I'm going to give you a cool motion fight tutorial, a quick and easy one as well, on how to create a clone effect. Um, you can also do this with Final Cut Pro and After Effects, but I'm just going to demonstrate this with Motion 5. Um, so if we just go ahead and open up a new motion project, let's just increase the du uh, duration. Let's go and make it 60. I think that's fine. And um, uh, we just want to uh, actually drag our clips for now. So if we just, uh, first of all, we'll drag our left clip um, in our events browser. Just make sure, yeah, you drag it in. And before I actually begin, I want to uh, just tell you guys that um, you, you have to make sure you have a tripod or like you're pl putting it, you're putting your camera on a flat surface because any sudden movement um, in your footage would um, it wouldn't work for this uh, effect uh, it would be garbage because um, then the crop line or the masking line basically will be uh, visible and that wouldn't look realistic and the whole effect will be ruined so make sure that there's no not at all any movement and both of the uh, clips uh, are the same exact same position no change in light lightning or anything like that. Um, so that's my uh, good uh, number one tip for you. So if we just drag in our clips, or I, I think we just go to import to um, just click on import, you can drag it in. And uh, if you want to zoom out, just press Command minus, and um, we'll just uh, resize. I mean, just make sure that my arm doesn't come here. That's good. There we go, and we just drag this back. And then same thing with our right clip. You want to click on a right clip and uh, click on import. And then with that, um, we just play it from here. It's not much change. Okay, so we'll just drag this in the beginning of the timeline as well, just like that. So if you if you um, notice right here, um, you can notice that the right clip is actually covering the left clip. And uh, we can easily change. We can firstly we want to actually make sure that everything is correct, and um, we just want, we just want to quickly look at both of the clips. So if we just have to click on our select our right uh, clip, go into our inspector, go into properties, and just put the opacity down. Um, I think fifty percent is all right, or forty eight, anything like that. Uh, so let's see if we can we can see the both of the clips, and just make sure nothing's wrong. I think that seems good. Nothing uh, unusual about that. Um, so uh, now we can actually turn back our opacity back to 100. And um, now what we can do is go to our little mask tool right here. Uh, go to our Bezier mask. So basically it's like the pen tool, like that. And just command minus, zoom out just a bit. And just make a mask around here. I think this should be fine. Or why not do it a bit there. Yeah, I think that's good. Just make it around your character, the uh, the right character. Uh, just something like this. Once you're done with that, you can see that both of the actors will be shown. Actors or, yeah. And you can see that um, looks pretty cool. You can see both of the actors. And uh, really simple. Um, otherwise, you can actually use a crop tool. But I feel the, using the mask tool is much uh, more accurate. But... Um, Let's just see how the final uh, rendered version or the final export result looks like. Nice. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this t quick tutorial. Uh, definitely more tutorials for motion and other uh, tutorials coming up. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.